you've actually met Donald Trump. Yes. With with your brother Rob. With Rob when he opened the Trump Tower in Toronto. Are you still a supporter of Donald Trump? Absolutely. <laughs> I wouldn't waver. Like uh, the GOP's wavering, I wouldn't waver. Well, Republicans are are jumping off the ship in droves. Well, they, why they is were, it you're still staying on? Well, they 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 weren't on the ship at the beginning. So the establishment that he's run against, that 14 million people in the U.S. Um, are dead against these career politicians. They were never with them. So the Paul Ryans and the McCains, they're they're finding an excuse to jump ship. What they don't realize, it makes their campaigns a lot weaker. Um, you know, what he has said is inexcusable, some of the things. Then but, how can you but, still support him? And all these revelations <laughs> from women well, coming out saying that he has sexually assaulted them. How can you still well, stand first, by him? For, first, you, you have to make sure it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the first thing. So accusations but, but are coming out. Sure, but it's almost reminiscent of mm -hmm. Bill Cosby when they just yeah. start piling on and there's but a ring of, absolutely. you know, but common it's, it's, accusation it's, it's, here. It's, in, it's inexcusable. But I look at the alternative. The alternative is crooked Hillary that if you ever look into their background, I, I have to wonder how they made all this money when when she was in government they they didn't own a business there were tens of millions of dollars and she was secretary of state so i i think this wikileaks uh, every every day is coming out with new new information that should shock the people let's let's put this into perspective a, over 80 percent of the media can't stand them in the u.s i've never seen a more biased media in my entire life except rob ford mm -hmm. but outside of that i have not seen a more biased media and Do you they're, see they're parallels just... between Donald Trump and Rob Ford? No, Rob's totally different than Donald Trump. But totally, in terms but in... of going against the establishment, oh, um, not being accepted as you claim That's by correct. by the media, but like the, you're drawing media, a lot of and, uh, parallels. Absolutely. So Rob wasn't accepted by the Conservative Party, Liberal Party, or or the NDP, even though he had tremendous support in traditional NDP voters and Liberal voters and Conservative voters. Uh, the establishment uh, don't see eye to eye with uh, the Fords, and uh, that, that's their choice, uh, along with the, the career politicians. Uh, Donald Trump's a businessman. He's a very successful businessman. I think he's a marketing genius. They need a change down, down in the U.S. Uh, Obama has been an absolute disaster, in my opinion, in the U.S. I run a business. The health care costs are going through the roof for not only the businesses, but the people. But shouldn't... A president or any politician have strong moral fiber? Are you seeing that in Donald Trump? Well, he does have strong moral fiber. He, he, he's he a did, misogynist. No, no, he's oh, always on, slamming talk. women. No, he's not always slamming women. If you look at the events he's at, there's a lot of women there. I went home. I have four girls and my wife, so I have five women. And I asked him, does this bother you what happened 11 years ago? And all of them, and I didn't course them or anything, they all said, we care about the taxes. We care about our business taxes going up under uh, President Obama. But we then need is more the, stability. Are so, you so saying that the, the bottom line. So are you jobs. saying the wall at the bottom line trumps in, in, anything, in most, even you know whether or not he's sexually abused women over the years, including well, allegations of a 13-year-old girl? Well, is, is the bottom talk, line and the wallet wanna, more no, important than that? It's inexcusable. But if you want to talk about 13-year-old girls, Let's talk about Hillary Clinton again, protecting a pedophile that went after a 13-year-old girl, and then she started to mock this 13-year-old girl, which I think is disgusting. So, you know, do you, do you have two great candidates? No. Do I think Donald Trump can run the country a lot better and get along with other countries like Russia? Absolutely, he can do a better job. He can create a stimulus. He can lower taxes. Right now, in the United States, the corporate tax is 7-8% higher than in Canada. What he's proposing is to lower the corporate tax down to 15%, create new jobs, stimulate the economy, and that, that's what it comes down to, is really creating jobs. You, you look at uh, inner cities, for example. I spent a lot of time in Chicago. Uh, a lot of Canadians... I could bring him parts of Chicago and drop him off at 11 o'clock at night, and there's a good chance you might not see that person again. We, we have to create jobs, put money into the taxpayer's pocket, and Hillary Clinton has not showed that she is competent to be President of the United States. What is it about Donald Trump 
and Rob Ford that they inspire the populist vote, that they, they capture mm-hmm. that in a, in a way that mm-hmm. politicians envy? Well, the, the, the average politician speaks out of both sides of their mouth, no matter if it's here in the United States. And it's all three levels of government here and all, all, all parties. They act one way in front of the people and they think people are stupid and they can, and they can you know, blow smoke uh, where the sun doesn't shine with these people and, and people don't buy it anymore. You look around the world, you look at the vote over in, in England, over in the UK, the people spoke up. You look over in the Philippines, you look at Iceland, you, you look at Rob Ford, you look at Donald Trump, you look at Bernie Sanders. Uh, people are just fed up with these politicians that get up there, promise something, don't don't commit to their promises after they get elected. And it's all about, you know what that it's all about? Is filling their buddies' pockets full of money, sole source deals, giving contracts. It's all about the money. No one can buy Donald Trump. And everyone knows that. Back to his character. Mm-hmm. You said it yourself, you have daughters. Yes. Would you be comfortable with one of your daughters being in a room alone with him? I would be. Absolutely I would be. Despite I, I mean, all these allegations. Absolutely. I'm, Donald Trump hires a lot of women out there. He respects women. Would his daughter feel comfortable? Would his wife feel comfortable? You See, really, you're targeting You him. really would think feel, he respects women? Would I, feel, would, would I feel comfortable with Hillary Clinton taking care of my money down there that I pay the taxes, corporate taxes down there? I don't feel comfortable at all. They've just continuously spent money, and people are up to here. Okay, but isn't your daughter more important than money? I mean, do you really think that he respects women? Absolutely he respects women. There's millions of women that voted for him. So all those millions of women are dumb? I don't think so. There's a lot of smart women I've talked to down in the U.S. that support him 100%. I just got off the phone with one of my account executives in New Jersey. Female, I have another female that runs my New Jersey facility. She just said, this is a bunch of nonsense. I support Donald Trump 100%. She's a very bright, educated woman. Interesting. It's just, it, that's just the way it is. The media is playing this up. If you really, and I find it hypocritical, the so-called righteous, hypocritical politicians that, you know, they're, they're, they're coming out holier than thou. I can assure you, as a guy, you're in a locker room and I've talked to a lot of guys, no matter what level they are, if they're an elite, if they're establishment, some nonsense gets talk, talk, talked about. And it's nonsense. It's garbage. It's locker room garbage. I don't condone it, but it happens. But to get this pulled out, and again, she's a hypocrite. The reason she's a hypocrite, look at Bill Clinton. They're lined up from here to Timbuktu, and she turned a blind eye because that was her ladder to become president. That's really what it comes down to. I, I, I find it hypocritical. Like if Bill Clinton was an angel, maybe she has a foot to stand on. She knew what was going on. So that's the hypocrisy at, at its best. What he said, Bill Clinton did. That's the difference. 